This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2010 Dodge Ram 3500. It's obviously a one ton crew cab dually. It's a 6.7 turbo diesel. It's two wheel drive. Um, and is the ST trim package. Um, it has 242,340 miles. It was a new car dealer trade in about maybe a half a mile from where we're standing at Jim Click Chrysler Dodge Ram. Um, we bought it from them, and here it is, okay? Um, things to note. So before I buy any vehicle, I always look at the Carfax or Auto Check, in this case, the Auto Check, and it said it had a moderate accident, not a severe, they call them severe or something even worse than that. This was moderate, but they didn't tell where on the vehicle. Well, as you can tell, the cab is white, and the bed is like an off-white, like a cream color. Also to note is that this bed is later than 2011, I believe, is how it goes. Um, so see how it has the hole for the def right here? And 2010 didn't have a def, so that's how you know this is an older bed. Um, it also has a little bit different design. So I'm guessing that the previous owner, that accident, did something to the bed. He probably got a big check from the insurance company and said, I know how to fix it cheaper. I'll just put another bed on it, right? Which is actually a really good idea. That's almost certainly what happened here. Um, anyway, you could tell the paint difference. I mean, obviously you could, you know, paint the bed and stuff, but I don't think anyone who buys this truck with 240,000 miles is gonna do that. More, more importantly is the uh, maintenance. It was obviously very well maintained. Um, the auto check will be in the ad, scanned in. I'll show you it to you in just a second um, on this video and it'll be in the ad so you can look at it. Um, also, there's some clues here. Uh, Michelin's, yeah, Michelin's probably about 50% tread front and back. So they like to spend money on the truck as far as um, tires are concerned. I mean, you don't buy Michelins unless you like the truck. So somebody liked the truck enough to, uh, to put Michelins on it. I see some uh, little door dings, like pretty light on the side, but nothing's big. Like I said, I doubt that uh, the person who buys this is gonna be a, a person looking at it for, uh, for uh, cosmetics. See rock chips, so obviously original hood. This is definitely the original hood. Uh, it's got these little things under the under the lights. These are aftermarket pieces, so I'm not sure if he had some sort of weird light package under there. You've got lights here on the valance. Um, I'm not sure what was going on there with these little trim pieces under the headlight, but it's kind of typical, like the running boards with the lights and stuff. It's kind of typical that people like personalize these things. It's hard to know what he was doing. Um, with that, Let's see if I can get this camera underneath here. So my brother will take 50 or 60 HD pictures, um, photos of this that you'll be able to click on uh, HD and look around, uh, zoom in on stuff. My job really is to point out the obvious stuff, what stuff that we know, good and bad, mostly bad. Um, noting the bad stuff keeps us from getting screamed at um, what we want is for you to take uh, ownership of the vehicle and say it's better than they said not worse here's another clue this looks like it's a uh, hole for a uh, uh, which I'm gonna call it a uh, um, camera so there you go um, what else la 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 uh, I think I've got the I think I've got the tailgate locked. Probably. Oh, yeah. There you go. Boom. There's a little button you push in on those things. Brand new bed. So, you know what would be interesting? If the next guy... This bed looks, like, really, literally brand new. That bed off this truck and for sale is worth three or four grand. So if you wanted to just put a flatbed on this thing and pay for it by taking that off and selling it, that would be how you do it. <laughs> it's actually a really good idea. Then you don't have to paint it. You got a flatbed with a fifth wheel hitch or something on it. All right, let's see. Let's 
so we have 242,349 miles before I go into the hood we'll show you this here's the auto check there's the VIN it says accident damage moderate it doesn't say where it was but it says moderate which means it's generally not a huge deal and based on this uh, so you got this car fight and this guy's going crazy with the servicing at Malloy Dodge in Albuquerque so right here he's actually in Santa Fe 822 of 12 collision with another vehicle 10 4 he's in Malloy that's in Santa Fe now he's in Albuquerque what maybe gosh 22 to the six weeks no, five weeks later he's in uh, Albuquerque getting an oil change and he didn't sell the car he didn't get rid of the car so he liked it enough to keep it it wasn't totaled and uh, I think I think my assessment of this and then it moved, made its way to Vail Arizona outside of Tucson here and then it was traded in Jim click let's see so I think my assessments gonna be correct on this thing there's a window window I'll do all the individual doors here in a second you got mirrors out in up and down that's moving too fast to not be new the window motors wear out and they barely move and these are pretty quick so I would say that at some point recently they put new mirrors on it all right here's your uh so first thing you always want to look for is the paint is original on these bolts so these haven't been off fenders haven't been off I'm guessing that was some sort of weird light thing nothing no blow by no air pushing out that's nice all right let me go over here modifications blah blah, blah. everything's fine uh, and there's the original hood sticker so the hood and the fenders appear to be factory which is good your window up and down this is not a full manual it says it's a user's uh, quick user's guide is what's in there although I think it's pretty self-explanatory so there's a plate right here he probably had some sort of a CB setup or whatever right here My videos can be 17 minutes and 38 seconds, so I kind of got to pick it up because I want to take it on I-10. Very little chance I'll make it back here in that 17 minutes and 38 seconds. But that's always my goal, but I think I'm already too late. I'm into this video, what, 827? Yeah, no way. There's your window. East Coasters, there's a little thing right here. East Coasters, this is what no rust uh, territory looks like with <laughs> New Mexico and Arizona. All right, let me adjust the seat here. Get a seat belt on. All right, seat belt is on. Radio. FM 99.5. It's got a little Bluetooth button you, uh, aftermarket, so you hit this and you get Bluetooth. Turn it off, and you should be back to radio. Maybe that's maybe you just gotta hold it. There you go. Yeah. So there you go. There. Oh, let's see. Seek. All right. You got uh, radio. You got a CD player. Air is blowing ice cold in here. I can attest to it. We're actually still in the hundreds here in Tucson, so it's kind of necessary. Let's see. What else? We have cruise control right there doing right here and that's off get the gate open here yeah I think if I own this car that's what I would do I would pay I would I would probably put a, a nice flatbed on it 
tell the shop that takes it off not to ding the bed when they take the, this curved bed off so you have something really nice to sell i'd put it online for about three thirty five hundred that bed because it's such a nice bed i mean it's freaking great let me turn the air down it's a hurricane in here um i think that bed will come close to paying for a really nice flat bed you know with a receiver hitch and the whole bit maybe put a put a uh work box on the front of it something like that um anyway all right if you come to tucson to drive this thing home you're going to pay the following you're going to pay your state tax rate whatever that is plus our city tax of 2.7 percent and a 250 dollars dock fee if you're going to pay for it and ship it out of state pay by wire and ship out of state all you're going to pay is agreed upon price there'll be no tax no dock fee nothing once we receive that wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it into your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Um, you'll have it shipped to you. The mail uh, mailman will have already delivered your title. And when the truck shows up on your shipper truck, uh, you'll just go to your local motor vehicles and get plates. Very simple. If you need help with shipping, I can do it for you. Uh, I'd be happy to. Um, we will uh, we can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle so you make one payment for both um this thing has a really nice ride for a one ton of course it's also a very nice road so we're gonna feel what it's really like here in a second when we're on i-10 and i will be honest <laughs> if it's like breaking my spine like the f-550 did the other day <laughs> i will tell you your spine is going to break <laughs> but this thing actually has a pretty nice ride i don't think it's going to um anyway uh la 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 if you need help with shipping let me know uh deposit is 500 dollars. once we have an agreed upon price please get your deposit in once we have a deposit it will no longer be for sale until then it will stay for sale all right now last part the tough love part of our videos we don't have salesmen so we don't have a commission to pay that saves you money and us aggravation by not having them running around our property salesman that is um we don't have a, a, a little shop um uh, you know with a attendant serving scones and lattes that's a precision toyota they have that um yeah, i mean it looks like a freaking hotel there a resort well you know that's not free that's part of every car you buy from them you have to pay for that crap so uh we don't have that either that saves you money we don't have a fancy location you just saw the yard we were in my uncle rents us to, uh, that yard for a dollar a year. They have a gigantic payment on those uh, auto mall dealership properties. Um, we don't, all right? So the advantage to you buying from us is that we can save you a ton of money up front uh, easily because we don't have the debt and the bills that they have. Um, the downside to buying from us, if that's the downside, by the way, there's a cop right there. And uh, right, see him right there? I'm gonna put the GoPro down here. Uh, downside is we expect you to be the owner on day one and fix your vehicle uh, the day that you're the owner, all right? When you're the owner, you're the owner. That means day one. If we're not gonna charge you what the other dealers are gonna uh, charge you because we have less debt and few lower bills, please accept that gracious offer of a cheaper vehicle um, in exchange, we insist you fix your vehicle. So when this thing breaks, and it will, just like anything we're passing here, you will fix your vehicle, okay? Um, with the money you saved by buying from us. Now, if you'd like to pay us a couple thousand dollars more, we'll give you a six month warranty, all right? But you don't want to, because you shouldn't. This is a great running truck. Um, you know, it's one flaw is this mismatched bed which to me is an invitation to make money. I actually already thought of the, taking this over to Tucson Trailers. Pat Cummins is the owner over at Tucson Trailers and saying, you have a nice flatbed with a fifth wheel uh, bracket in there and maybe a, a work box that we could weld onto it or attach to it at the, at the cab. And this would be a pretty cool truck and then sell the, sell the bed, you know, and maybe pay for the whole operation using the bed. I think that's a great idea. Um, in fact, if this doesn't sell pretty quickly, I might do that with this truck. So, um, you know, and then some people would be fine with the bed the way it is, and maybe they'll just put a fifth wheel bracket in the bed, 
of this truck, which is also fine. Um, there's just a lot of ways to go here. Um, the price is going to be very reasonable and uh, very reasonable. And uh, somebody's going to have a nice little towing vehicle here for a rel relatively low price. Anyway, we're waiting for traffic to clear, clear here. This is Ruthroff Road. So we took uh, the Prince Road on ramp onto I 10 and we're getting on. Well, we got on the off ramp at Ruthroff. And that's where we're at right now. So, there. Nice truck. This is a really nice truck. And by the way, my spine is intact. Um, it did not have any kind of rough ride at all. In fact, it drove like a half ton truck as far as the ride was concerned, which tells you when you have a load on it, it's going to really drive well. Um, they always do. They always drive better than one ton, especially dualies when they have a trailer. Something to weigh it down a little bit. Anyhow, let's see, I see a little ding right here on the top of the dash. See this right here? Like I said, it's my job to like point out everything I notice, especially the negative stuff. That way you're not pissed and, oh, you didn't say that. You could have pointed that out in the video. You know, we don't want that. Um, there's plenty of people who see our videos who uh, pay attention and, and know that we're going to announce problems. So anyway, we're at 16 minutes and 32 seconds. So we're on Ruthroff. This is LaCholla, spelled C-H-O-L-L-A. All right, and I'm gonna have to take a right there. I don't think I'm gonna be able to squeeze by this guy. Um, and then I'll, about two minutes from my yard, which will be late. So anyway, when this thing ends at 17 minutes and 38 seconds, I didn't die. It just, that's where we end our videos, is there. And I'm kind of stuck right here. If I was a little bit narrower, I would be moving. But I don't feel like hammering the fender skirts on this thing, the rear fenders on it, because that would suck. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend like uh, I can fit when I'm not sure I can. All right, there we go. All right, we're at 17 minutes and uh, 30 seconds. Everyone have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. Really nice running truck. Thank you for your time.